Previously, I have demonstrated creating AWR reports using the database server command line scripts. You can actually use SQL Developer 4.1 and above. So here I am using SQL Developer 4.1.3 and I will be connecting to an 11.2 database. Let me first remove this so I can start from the beginning. I log in a system but I will not be using the system account to generate the report let me show you another way it's going to drop this user okay then I'll, I'm going to create a user fresh There are three privileges which, which need to be granted. Create session, select catalog role, and execute on DMS workload repository. So these two privileges are granted. I go on to the database server, log in SSDBA. Okay, so this grant, DBS workload repository execute privilege has to be done by SysDBA, by Sys account. So I'm doing it from the database server. Although I could have done a SQL net connection, I, I never configure SQL net connections for SysDBA. I do have a SQL net connection, so I use SQL developer for system. And these two grants, create session and select catalog, have been done by system. Now let me close this. disconnect I will reconnect here it's AWR user it's a bug here in SQL developer I'll try it again password AWR user so this connection pane is buggy in, in this current version of SQL developer it doesn't show up properly so I've logged in as uh, AWR user now I go to the DBA pane define a new connection here and the first time you select performance here you will be asked to confirm that you have the diagnostic pack I've already done that here so it's already configured but you must confirm that you have the diagnostic pack license before you can run AWR reports so if I go here I would be asked for confirmation the other way I can see that I have already got done a confirmation is I go to tools preferences database licensing so for this database connection I've already di configured diagnostic license as having been purchased by me okay so without the diagnostic pack license you should not be running AWR reports now I've, you can see here I've logged in as AWR user not as sys not as sysdba not as system not as any DBA account and these are the snapshots which are available let me generate a, a new AWR report from snapshot 139 to snapshot 141 this is the generate button here so it generates an uh, AWR report and this button here the last button here copies it to a browser let me just close this browser here close go back to SQL developer and say copy to browser so here I have the AWR report in the browser I can save it from the browser 
I can save it from this button here. Now I can use the same account to generate a new snapshot as well. Go back here. I need to disable this forward lookup behavior. This forward lookup behavior is from SQL developer which isn't working for this account because it doesn't have privileges on every object in the database. But I'm using this AWR user to ge just generate a new snapshot. Okay, So that's completed successfully. I can go back here. This doesn't get refreshed unfortunately. So that seems to be another bug here. But if I go into AWR report viewer, remember the last time we generated a report was for 139 to 141. So let's generate a new report. So you can see that 142 is available. So I can see 141 to 142. Generate report. This button is to copy to browser. So and I have 141 to 142 generated. So that's all I needed. An account with create session. Select catalog role. Execute on DMS workload repository. The execute on DMS workload repository has to be granted by SysDBA. After that, I can use SQL developer 4.1 to generate W reports. I must confirm that I have the diagnostic pack license. And you can verify that I've done the confirmation here. Tools, preferences, database, licensing, diagnostic. So you don't need server command line access. You don't need to log into the database server as Oracle. You don't need SysDBA. You don't need a DBA account. You don't need system account. You only need to have the DBA grant you this account with these three privileges only and you can run AWR reports.